hopefully we are live. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday morning. Uh, again, we are, I'm going to big thanks to our friends at Discord as well. We are doing the simulcast with Discord live and also a YouTube live at the same time. So if you haven't joined my Discord channel, uh, come hang out with us, okay? It's uh, free to join. I know some of you are pop in, but just make sure to say hello. Okay, just say hello and uh, just make sure you get to know each other. You know, we have a great group of uh, coffee lovers. And then we do have an after hour special as well. So we have a couple of different events and uh, you're going to have some fun with it. After yeah. hour special as well. So we have a couple. Anyway, uh, I think we are sound is good. Uh, sometimes if, if you're joining us for the first time, you know, sometimes if you look at me, I'm looking at the, to the side. Uh, the reason is I have uh, my monitor set up. Let me show you what that look like. I got this, this big monitor set up right behind me right now. So that's the reason why I look at the, your comments as well. So that's why we can do, uh, like live chatting, except I'm talking, but you know, you are, you know, you are typing. Anyway, uh, this morning we are going to talk about uh, how to make scale-free water recipe for your espresso machine. I made a mistake, okay? I'm gonna make a big mistake over the years because I've been using, I start with the uh, uh, crystal geyser water, okay? Crystal geyser water uh, for a long time on my uh, Lilac Bianca, okay? Uh, crystal geyser used to be about a dollar per gallon. So at the time, it's worth, you know, buying it, right? It's worth getting it. But over the last year, year and a half so, they used to be 99, used to be around dollars. And the starting the price is going up. Now it's up to 150 right now, buck 50 on my grocery store. So I stopped using it. Instead, I've been using, uh, I've been going to the, my local water station. Okay, local water station. You know, they're a purified water for my machines. You know, I thought it's gonna be okay. You know, it's a purified water. But what, what happened was recently, I checked my purified water on my water station. And I get about, so this is a TDS meter, uh, total dissolved solid, okay. Uh, it's about between like 35 and 40 TDS on the uh, filter. I mean, they're pretty low. The problem with that water is I have no idea what that is. So over the last couple of months or so, whenever you guys watch my video, you guys hear that funny noise on my machine. I couldn't quite figure it out what that was. And I realized I bet you is the, the buildup, okay, from that, uh, the, I've been using the water station water for a while, so I bet you some, the 30 TDS, sound, it doesn't sound like a lot, but something is a uh, scale of my machine. So, I did a full descaling, okay, I used the uh, uh, citric acid to descale that, and then, so now, so now it sounds, uh, sounds like this. Hopefully you guys can hear this right now. It's a lot quieter, okay? It's a lot quieter, but, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Hold on one second here. Hold on. Okay. All right. So anyway, so now sounds a little better. Okay, let's try that one more time. You know, it's not the quietest right now, but it's so much better than before. Okay, so much better than before. So now, now what? Okay, because I cannot start using my uh, uh, water station water anymore because um, that causes that noise. So having the scale buildup. So I need to come up with better water recipe. The fact is, uh, you, cannot use, you cannot use calcium. I know some of you watching my channel I think I did a water recipe a while back. Uh, the three main ingredients for your water, for your coffee, uh, obviously the calcium. Uh, so this one is a bicarbonate. So this is the sodium, okay? So, you know, magnesium as well. Okay, for machines, you could use bicarbonate. Uh, you could use uh, sodium, but you cannot use calcium because calcium do the water, uh, uh, hard water, okay? You cannot use calcium, so you can only use two. So this water recipe I'm about to share with you, 
Uh, Dr. Pablos uh, designed this water. Okay, doc, shout out to Dr. Pablos. I think he passed away. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Someone fact check that for me, but yeah. And also, shout out to Dogman. Uh, Dogman22 recommend me this water as well. I, I don't think he ever tried this water, but uh, so we are going to try it today. Okay, I'm going to show how to make it. Uh, if you search for uh, on Google right now, a scare free water recipe. Okay, let me do that for you. Okay. If you search right now on the water re uh, free recipe here, hold on. And you are going to get whole uh, different results. Uh, usually Reddit, and also we have a homebrista.com as well, how to prevent scale. Uh, there's, you know, there, I mean, there's also another video as well, Dr. Pablo's water, water recipe. And then, uh, so one, and most of them, most of them are talking about making concentration, okay? Uh, which means that they use like one liter of water for like, you know, 3.5 or 3.8 grams of water one. Now, uh, it's not hard, but sometimes it can be complicated things because they are using the metric system, right? The liter. Liter is about 1,000 milliliter as well. Uh, if you are living in U.S., we use gallons, okay? So uh, I'm trying to make it easier for you guys. One gallon of water, okay, to 0.38 grams of bicarbonate. Okay, bicarbonate is not a baking soda. So this is a sodium, okay, sodium bicarbonate, okay? We don't want that, okay? We do not want to use baking soda. I know some recipe, if you're watching some YouTube channel, they use baking soda, no, don't. Get the right stuff, okay? Okay, so get the potassium bicarbonate. Okay, get the potassium bicarbonate. Uh, you, you can get it from Amazon. Uh, you're gonna have for a lifetime. Okay, you're gonna have, you, I think this bag cost me like 10 bucks. I think I, I do have a link on the bottom as well. Uh, it's gonna be last me pretty much lifetime on this one. A smart, a smart package too, so. So again, potassium bicarbonate. One gallon of, you can use uh, zero TDS water or distilled water as well, okay? So I have a zero picture, uh, so zero, uh, it's called zero water, the water picture that, you know, filter out all the uh, impurity on your water. So let me see here. So before we're gonna make that water, I'm gonna check the TDS right now. I'm going to check the TDS. Uh, by the way, uh, get the TDS meter. I mean, there is dirt cheap on Amazon too. Like what? Less than $10, right? It's not that expensive. As you can see, it has a zero. Okay, so this is a zero TDS. Again, uh, zero TDS. And uh, we're just going to add. I already measured what? 0.38 grams. Okay, 0.38 grams of uh, potassium bicarbonate. You know, what? I'm just gonna put it in here right now. Again, 0.38 gram per gallon of zero TDS, or or, or distilled water. Okay, but sometimes it, sometimes you know. Zero TDS is that same as uh, distilled water? I, I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know the answer for that. But the reason why I like to use a zero TDS water, uh, obviously they're cheaper. You, you just buy one filter. You know you're gonna have for you know six seven months instead of buy. Okay, instead of buying the distilled water every single time. The distilled water used to be cheap too. Okay, they used to be about a dollar per gallon. Now, if I go to a local grocery store, like buck fifty. Okay, I don't know about you. Okay, I go through a lot of water on my. Uh... I'm back here. Okay, so I go through a lot of water. Okay, on my machine, so, but. I mean, if you don't use a lot of water on your machine, if you make one or two cups a day, 
uh, go with the distilled water. Okay, just go. I recommend distilled water. Uh, that's uh, I think that's it's gonna be better than zero TDS. I'm not quite sure, but you know, it's only buck fifty or a dollar. Just go with the distilled water. Uh, potassium bi uh, bicarbonate for your espresso machine. So you don't have to worry about scaling on your coffee machine for sure. So, that, uh, so this, recipe's been, uh, this recipe's been around for a long time. Uh, it's been proven. Yeah. There's something, yeah, there's something very useful. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna. Okay. So that is how to make your zero TDS water. I'm sorry, uh, not the zero TDS. Uh, make the uh, scare free water espresso machine. So at, having said that, oh, you know what? Let's check the TDS right now. Yeah, I want to I wanna check the TDS on this water. So one gallon of uh, zero TDS and the 0.38 grams of uh, potassium bicarbonate. And then uh, make sure shake it well. Okay, make sure shake it well. And then TDS is going to be sixty-six, uh, almost seventy. Okay, almost seventy uh, TDS. You see that about seventy, yeah, seventy-one, seventy, yeah, seventy TDS, seventy-one TDS. So it's definitely something, you know, is in there, okay? And the fact is you, you want to be precise as possible. A point, uh, point 0.38 gram, don't go like point 0.4, do not round it up, it says point 0.38. Because the, here's the thing about the accuracy. Most scales are accurate to like point, what, maybe tenth of gram, okay? Not hundredth gram, so. But again, it's not perfect, so, you know, you're just trying to go you know, close as possible. Uh, some scale is some scale only display what just the tenth, right? And I think most of uh, espresso scale from Amazon, I think it shows you you know hundredth, but you know it's not that you know it's not hundred percent accurate, but close enough. So again, 0.38 grams of one gallon of distilled water, and then so that is your espresso machine. Uh, but it's going to be scare free. So that's what I'm going to use from now on on my Bianca. Okay. So that's what's going to happen from moving forward. I think, I think for me, I think that's a better option. But uh, if you are, if you, you're not using a spray machine too, you know, not, you know, maybe a couple of times a day, just go buy the distal water instead. Okay. Just go buy the, the distal water. I mean, you don't have to mess with. Uh, water filter as well, like you know, zero zero water uh, water pictures. Again, uh, uh, we have Vulcan asking, how does it taste? That uh, I don't know yet. Okay, uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna find out. You know what? Uh, let me find out. Uh, so let me uh, close this session right now, and I'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, and then we are going to compare. Uh, two different water, uh, scare free water versus, uh, let's see here, I think I have a scare free water versus I have a regular, not the regular water, but I have a perfect water, okay, a perfect water is actually a package. So let's, uh, let me play with the, yeah, uh, scare free water versus uh, packet water. And I'm going to be using my uh, flare, so I don't have to worry about the machine, the boiler there. So I'll be back in about five, okay? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 